Praise the Lord, hallelujah, glory, honor, adoration be unto the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. I want to thank God for this great privilege and great opportunity we God don't give me today for make a talk to we all we na Sierra Leonean them the one that we did you don't give me this opportunity for let you speak your mind to you people them concerning this nation we bless your holy name because we know say you get a purpose for this hour and Lord all what you get for say here, and all what you get for do, and all what you don't already do, let the glory, the praise, and the honor be unto your own holy name. We give you the glory, we give you the praise, and we give you the honor. Thank you because God, we know you don't hear it and you don't answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, before I talk to you, I want to follow a read from the Bible in the book of Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3, I go read verse 7. All the one them are the towns, the villages, the various cities in Sierra Leone. I want to welcome you now. All we brothers and sisters, we auntie, we mama them are the diaspora. The one that we they watch through the Facebook the one that we they watch through the RTV channel 20, uh, 72. Then the one that we they watch, we they listen through the radio. I want to welcome you to this very precious moment for the transformation of a beloved country, Sierra Leone. We are in the now, now God in divine agenda. I want to read now the book of Amos chapter 3. Verse 17. He says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So, in other words, God will deserve, now God will know secret. He know both the past and the present and the future. But the Bible say, God will only reveal their secrets and they want to in servants and also to in prophets. He said, God not go do nothing. Whatever God wants to do for a community or a nation, He can always make a known to in servant them or to in prophets. Then in Psalm 34, verse 14, I will read. Psalm 34, verse 14. It say, Psalm 34, verse 14. Psalm 34. I will read. It say verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The eyes of the Lord, they are upon the righteous. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. Hosea 12, verse 13. And by a prophet... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Israel been there in bondage and captivity for 430 years, but God raised up a prophet, 
somebody where he can speak to. And by a prophet was he preserved. Israel was preserved also by a prophet. He delivered Israel out of bondage, out of the bondage of Egypt. And he preserved in people them, you know, by the hand of a prophet Moses. Now for some of Unawe, Una be done, they watch how things be done, they go over the years. I believe by the grace of God, God be done, they reveal certain things then to me about this nation, about families, about communities. And I don't observe, say, whenever God wants to do something big for this country, it can always give me extraordinary assignment. It was in the month of February this year, 2020. The Lord tell me, say, withdraw yourself and seek my face. Similar thing may happen during the Ebola, before the Ebola. The Lord take me, I did not presence for some time. Not knowing what thing will befall the nation. And all waiting, God been tell me, when I will be done the follow up, when I find out for say, God been there for unfold everything. And it happened exactly according to waiting God been said. So when the Lord tell me that in February, I make it for do all the things that we are for do, then I withdraw now God I now left everything. And go now God in presence the March 18th of this year. The 18th of March. And up till now, I still they wait on the Lord. You know, for almost close to 200 days now. The Lord said, I not for go no way. I not for do nothing. I for just sit down no more. I wait on them. For waiting, first, it not be tell me. But why is I withdraw myself after two months? You know, now God begin for unfold certain things then to me. And the Lord be even tell me about the corona. He said the corona will be in three phases. Although prophecy be they come from all over the world, we then say, well, now nah, corona go down in March, some man say in April, some man say in May. But the Lord be telling me, say the corona. Now a journey and a long journey. Okay, so I take note of that. After two complete months, where I know they come out at all, at all, at all. Now in, it tell me, say, for can't tell Una, say, the corona, it say, it will be a long journey. And we see, say, the journey all over the world is a long journey. And we don't even know now the world when it come to an end. But very recently also the Lord tell me say say for Salon, he say when I don't they go towards the end of Unayun journey. Because we be done the call upon a name. Now um it was on the thirty first of August. You know when I don't see down now, going close to two hundred days, the body said be don't tire. I just did one place. I know they go no side. I just they fast and they pray. Continuous fasting, prayer, prayer, prayer. I say, God, the body don't they feel weary. Sometimes I do share my emotions with God. Then a Lord give me the book of Amos. Amos chapter 3. I will read. He say, He say this to me. He say, verse 6, Amos 3, 6. He say, that that exactly the Lord tell me, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Surely, the Lord God will do nothing. Okay, verse 4. 
We a lion roar in the forest when he had no prey. Now that's the Lord ask me. The lion go just roar without any reason. He said, you say you don't grow tired, you don't grow weary. He said, you don't work with me very close to 40 years. He said, you don't want to see, I tell you for let you do something without any reason at all. I say, no. Then he said, take your pen and paper. He said, I tell you for let you wait on me for this long period, for over six months. Say, you see, don't want place. Because I guess something we I want for do now this country. He said, Makam. That was the 31st of August, 5 o'clock in the morning. He said, something they were again for do now this country. He said, again for shake the foundation of this country. He said, write and down. Then I write and down. Then the Lord come back. He begin remind me about last year crusade. Na stadium. He say I've been there for give a revelation to you for tell me people them. 2019 crusade na the national stadium. The last day of that crusade was on Sunday. If you go recall, the Lord been give me a vision. Right? I see the Lord come. He stand as a warrior with a sword, a drawner in hand, and that sword they be the drip blood. Then I ask the Lord, I say, God, what in this you they show me? Then he say, he say, he don't tell me people, then they cry to me. He say, for let I come for can't deliver them because they don't tire. He say, so I don't come for act on their behalf. He said, because now in the owner of this land, he don't come for redeem this land, and he don't come for comfort for in people them. So why is I be the watch in this vision? Then I see mighty angels that appear. Very tall, they stand na the ground of the country. Then tall, but their foot reach na the ground. Then why is I see the angels there also in the spirit realm? I see another angel with a trumpet na in hand. In fact, I've been two angels there with trumpet na their hand. They begin blow this trumpet. They ask the Lord, say, God, what do you they show me so? Then the Lord say, He say, now a sign for sure, say, I don't come for can war. For can deliver this nation from this long time bondage. So when the angel then don't blow this trumpet down, then the Lord open my eyes. He say, turn, now I turn in the spirit realm. Then I see a covering. The covering be thick like a carpet. Very thick that the sun, you know they see. Now darkness no more. You know they see nothing. This thing here so like carpet, it covered the entire country. The sun not able for penetrate through. Una we been there at the crusade last year, Una go recall what they had to say. Then, this thing bothered me. When I see this covering, but the thing will really, really, really shock me. As he said, this covering will they under the covering, mortar man than they day with a rope way tie from this covering. We tie around their waist. When I like then the hole for support this covering, let this covering not come out so that sun not go able for penetrate. Among them people there also will be hold this covering. I've been see some past and present politicians. I see some religious leaders them. Right? Past, present. Then I see youths. If you go recall. Then I also see different group of men and women there in the country. Where they under this covering. Where this rope tie, 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 tie around them. Where they hold 
you know, discovery for let discovery not go lift. Then, all on a sudden, the Lord say, turn, they are turned. Then I hear a voice. It they say, fold up the covering. Then, then four angels they also will be come, waiting up. They begin fold up this covering. And as they fold this covering up, the covering begin for rule. Like when they rule a, a matter. Right? They, con they continue for rule. And when it they rule, it they roll them together with both past, present, religious leaders, group, you know, youth and group of other people them. But he rolled them up together. Then towards the end of this covering, I see a big lake of fire. They roll this covering and all the together the covering and all the one that will be there under with the support, he rolled them into this fire. Then I say, God, waiting this. He say, I don't come for come purge this land. He say, of there are men and women, past, present, including some religious leaders, will hold this country in bondage for almost going to 60 years. Now that the Lord tell me, and if I go recall, I've been tell Una that. Then after we, the covering don't roll, then I see the sun begin for penetrate brightly over the nation. And I begin for see the vegetation, right? All over the place, symbolizing fruitfulness and prosperity in the land. I see fruit, I've been see food stop. Although some have been interpreted differently. But that vegetation where I see the green now is a symbol of fruitfulness and prosperity. Then after that, the Lord said, turn, then I turn. Towards Lungi, I see plane, they come with people them. Right? Flights, they go, flights, they come. Flights, they go, flights, they come. I say, God, this, waiting this. He say, all the one them, where we don't drift, go. Now, other foreign nations, he say, it is time for me for bring them come back again. Then, that vision, they pass. Okay. Now let's come back now to this present one. So, on the 31st of August, when the Lord speak to me, when I say, God, I don't retire. When the Lord tell me, say, if either, if you don't ever tell me for do anything without specific reason, He say, now you tell me for like a wait. And during this time of waiting, it was April the 1st, 2020. The Lord said for organize the Revival uh, Labor Prayer Group for letting them get all night of prayer for the nation. Since the 1st of April, up to date, we still they get the all night of prayer. Now I say, God, waiting at the purpose. He said, I guess something we are they make known to you. Then, the Lord give me Isaiah chapter 47. Please, you go bear me, let I read. Isaiah chapter 47, from verses 1 to the end. Isaiah chapter 47, from verses 1 to the end. Now, he give me for this country. He say, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the meal stones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bear the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance 
and I will not meet thee as a man. This now God they talk now to Sierra Leone. He go take vengeance for this land. And he not get for act like mortal man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wrought with my people. God say, if we don't vex upon this country, I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou dear show them no mercy. Right? Upon the ancient as thou very heavily laid the yoke. That is the nation, the people, they suffer. There is a yoke where the nation they carry. Now this the Lord tell me. And thou says, I will be a lady forever. So that thou dares not lay these things to thy heart. Neither this remember the latter end of it. Therefore hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures. That dwelleth carelessly. That says in thy heart. I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. This day now they talk about leaders. Right? But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. This they talk about past, present, religious, political leaders. They shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorcery, God said the juju too much. Now the land. And for the great abundance of the enchantment. He said the killing too much. The occultism too much. Inside the church. The villages. The towns. God said it too much. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. People don't just care. They're wicked. Thou hast said. None seeth me. So man the things are within they do. They don't ever think say. God, they uh, will get eternal eyes in this country where they see. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it has perverted thee. So, Matthew said, and get sense. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. So, man say, eh, <laughs> nobody not go able for do me anything. But listen now. Thou, therefore, therefore, shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Something they, they come upon. All the one them. We don't tell the tie the destiny of this country. They sit on them. And they enjoy for see the sufferings of the people. The Bible says calamity they come upon them. Nobody. They're not able to put her off. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Which thou shalt not know. Stand now. With that enchantment. The one that way they juju. God said let them try. And with the multitude of thy sorceries. Right. The one that way they pay my business. We are in that has labor from thy youth. So man they not juju business no more. From where they are young. God said nine day the country. If so be thou shall be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let's now the astrologers, the Meresima, the way they hire, the, the car with all over the country, the, the stargazers, the monthly pro, uh, destinators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Hmm. Let the Meresima then come. The one they own a blank consult. God say, it don't come down. Behold, they shall be as a stumble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. 
So the Lord give me this passage on the first of uh, September. Then it tell me say it get more things them we in get for unfold to me we don't be done to this nation because some I don't pray tell it all like the country things not the better. Let's say everything don't box up. So I don't tire the suffering too much. So God say, in the reveal things them to me, damages them will be done be done by we elders and the leaders of the land, both past and present ones, including religious leaders. The Lord now take me and begin for unfold to me things them. That Sierra Leone in problem. It go as far back as 1977. There were covenants that were made. And this covenant, when they make, it gets something for do with this country. Then I begin for pray. Remember from 1977 up to 2018. Then covenant they also where they make according to the revelation. The covenant was sealed and signed. I will later therefore tell you the place. The covenant was renewed in 2002. 2012. 2018. For cage this nation. And for destroy the destiny of this country. And one thing I want to tell only the Sigalonians, whenever God speak, and not just they speak because he want for talk, God not to talk active. Whatever God they say, he mean with it, he they say, and he they say with it, he mean. Now, I want, when God don't begin for speak to me, then things and yeah. Then I begin for ask God, God, throw more light on what you say you did do. We go shake the foundation of this country. We go pull this country in this bondage. Now, anybody where you spiritual, we supposed to know say, now the spiritual, now he hold the physical. Anything where they don't do in the realm of the spirit, it gets a way for affect you in the physical. So there we are things that we are done by both past and present leaders of this country. When I make this country with a struggle so with a prayer like so not a pray. With all the minerals in this country, now just few people the 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 the, the whole thing they benefit. Now only ten percent now then they enjoy ninety percent they suffer. And this has been a burden in my heart. Because if God bless the land, now for let everybody enjoy. And I don't mean why even God tell me, say, for last sit close to these 200 days, and I still they wait on them. He said, for wait on her till. He not still tell me it when. For stop. Because he said, get my money, many more things for unfold to me. And I want to announce to this country, say, I don't get evidences of things in my hand. Evidences of things in my hand. Where I will get for call later, as the Lord tell me what he for do. I get for call this nation. All the one they waiting at the diaspora, and I get for show call all the media houses of this country. Let them see the damage where we elders them, we leaders them, both present and uh, the one that we passed. A present they don't do to this country for personal gain, for power, and personal enrichment. As I tell you, there was a covenant signed, and that covenant was signed in 1977. When the day come, when I will get for talk, I call the media houses. I will explain to them who signed the covenant sign, why they signed the covenant. Waiting and they take for renew the covenant on daily basis for this country. They will now know what to make not the progress. And God been telling me two or two weeks ago, 
I began for say I'm not church now. Yeah. God said the blood too much, the human blood too much. He said the blood too much. He said the cry of the blood too much. It don't reach now is and it don't come now. For can't purge this land. So I go get for call media houses. Believers and men of God them. I get the evidences Namihan. Clean, clear evidences of the damage where both past and present elders them and leaders them of this land. How they don't damage this country spiritually. Now the effect with the CISO in the natural. Then cage this country. Destroy the destiny of Sierra Leone. Now, but before the day go can we go do that, and not day too far from now, God give me an assignment for tell we as a nation for do. Because more things they will get for exposed. More things. Eh? How they cage this nation. How they cage the destiny of this nation. All oh, till they come in. Now only few in the benefit. The rest they suffer. Now the Lord tell me for tell you. Three days ago. He gave me this assignment. Before we get for undo. The things that they don't do. We get for undo them. He said this nation we for. Declare 30 days of fasting. And prayer. 31 days of fasting and prayer. Starting from the 1st of October, we end on the 31st. And that prayer day, they go with a chain. The chain prayer every day from the 1st, from 12 o'clock midday to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You go there near your radio or your television. Then, from 5 o'clock in the evening, before we break the fast, to... Six o'clock. You go there near your radio. Then, from eleven thirty to four thirty, the all night of prayer, they continue for go on. God is about to do something. Now we country. So the fasting for start on the first. Then in the end on the thirty first of October. Then the Lord give me another assignment that the fasting with the endam with a prayer for this country for redeem the land. But when we don't uh, I don't conclude the venue outside this prayer will take place for redeem the land. Now that day I will display I will display things that will get for shock this nation. And shock the world. This nation, what would they say we're religious? I always say talk am. And I'll be telling on a stadium. I say it don't time. Let God. God don't take over. It don't come. When I remember that trumpet will be blow. Now stadium, not to so during the time of the election. We hand this nation over. Yes, we they go through difficult times. Things look very hard. Life not easy. But we know they look at things with, with physical eyes. If then things are away, God don't expose and uh, it don't begin exposed. If then things are uh, still be remain in place. Hey, we for remain in perpetual bondage till Jesus Christ come. But thank God. The hour we don't spend so before God. And when we say don't spend before God, I not regret it and I still they wait. So, when we conclude the fasting, we got to forget a day of prayer for redeem the land and undo all the things. Em. Now that end day, I will display to Una the things, em, both with past, with present, political and religious leaders. They don't do to this country. Now I make the country they struggle so much. But towards the end of the revelation, 
God give me Psalm 94. God give me Psalm 94. Please. Psalm 94. I go read. Psalm 94. Verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Shall the throne of iniquity, there is a throne of iniquity in this land. And that throne of iniquity not go get, it not get fellowship with God. Which frameth mischief by a law. Then they frame wickedness by the authority where they within, where then they use. They gather themselves together against the souls of the righteous. They poor people them. And condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. He will bring upon them their own wickedness. And bring upon them and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. The hour don't can God say, and they cut off the horns of all the one them. We sit on the destiny of this country. Both past, present, and bo both politicians as well as religious. He say if you don't start them from the month of May. So heads they don't begin for rule. He say from now to June next year, 2021. He said, many heads get for rule, and nobody not go able for stop until he make an altar end and deliver this nation from the hands of evil men and from the captivity where this nation they in. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I want for let will be rest assured, right? All when I will be done, they pray for me. It has not been easy. I need more grace because I'm still waiting. More things say. Eh? Where God get for exposed. But the one we don't count on me hand for now. I want for let Una know that the final day, after the, 20, the 31 days of fasting and prayer, I will make it known to this nation for let Una see what will be done the under. The bondage. How the one that we now will elder them. The one that will they sing say, now they forfeit for we. Waiting at the damages where they don't cause. To we as a nation. Now that makes even all the cry, right? God not the answer because the blood, too much blood, too much blood, too much blood they shed. And they still they bend for shed more blood. But this time around, we say don't go on with knees. And we say, Papa God will not agree. So not surprise, oh, God say with him. <laughs> Let me read them again. Verse 23. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Salon will be free. Salon will prosper again. Salon, the minerals in this country, it will benefit we. The poor man will get some sign of relief. God then at the throne will not cry, let people that will not get hope. We get hope because we get a God we still in the hearing prayers, in the answer prayers, in the act on behalf of in people them. So my dear brothers and sisters, starting from Wednesday night, now we tie the fast. We the tie the fast, 12 o'clock, then you cut in the evening. Do ya? You, you get your wife, your husband, take this time aside. You picking them. Is salon better? Now we all done better. When salon they struggle so, right? Majority, 90% they struggle. But when salon better, now we all go better. So therefore, now the word this way, I've been done tell when I say, I get from the Lord for tell this nation. Continue for keep me in your prayers. I know say, brighter days are ahead of this country. Very soon, with captivity, it will go over as a nation. And God will fight for a young people there. Bow your heads down. Let we pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you so much because you are a faithful God. You are a loving Father. You are the excellent God. Lord, I just they commit you picking them now you hand. I they ask, O oh Lord, that you come. Be merciful to us as a nation. We have no might on our own. We have no strength of on our own. Like David, he said, I will lift up my eyes from uh, onto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Lord, we lift up our eyes unto you as a people. We they look up to you. For can and deliver we from this bondage and captivity we will they in. Lord, we know say you are perfect God. Whenever you speak, you always they watch over your word for a performer. <laughs> you know one day talk, you not perform. Therefore, Lord, we they pray that you will continue for purge this land. That Lord, you go cut off the horns of the wicked men and women. We sit on the destiny of this nation and give you people them freedom, liberty in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I cover every word where you don't speak through me. Lord, to you people them, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. And Father God, as we start the, uh, with the tide the first Wednesday night, for Lord, we begin for fast on Thursday. Lord, grant me the grace, the strength, the energy, that we none not go grow tired, we not go grow weary, until we complete that fast, fast day in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory. The remaining things, um, Lord, what you see, don't promise for unveil. Lord, I am still waiting. Lord, continue for throw more light on it in Jesus' name. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. I bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we are pray. Amen. I just want to announce for all men of God, um, where you get hearts for this country, tomorrow by 2 o'clock, we get a planning meeting for this fasting and prayer for the nation and waiting to go on and get other things them um, we I will get for share. God bless you. See you. Amen. Have a wonderful time.